white supremacy. Don't play with me right now. These are people who think they are genetically superior. When I watched the Birth Gap documentary, I was looking for the creator's um, other comments, writings, interviews, and so on. And I came across this couple who interviewed him on their podcast. And from Jump, something about these two folks gave me the ick. Now, in the four, maybe five videos of theirs that I've seen uh, from their YouTube channel, I they just seemed like run-of-the-mill like conservatives to me, not religious conservatives, but more along the lines of like Milton Friedman type economic conservatives. Like they talk about things like, you know, tax incentives uh, for you if you have three or more children. Because they're they're very panicked about the birth rate and they are they have an organization that kind of like workshops and provides educational resources um, for these kinds of uh, policies and things that will increase the birth rate. And they're very data driven. So they look at all this data and they're like, um, these things we think will increase the birth rate, these things won't. However, I had no idea that that video that I just stitched existed because their eugenicist vibes are not necessarily apparent uh, in the content of theirs that I have seen. But I was uh, searching to see if they were on TikTok, and so I put in their names. And this guy, Ebony, I follow him on TikTok, and um, yeah, mm, that's straight up eugenics. I agree. In addition to that, though, um, I noticed during their podcast, uh, the husband interrupts his wife a lot. Like when she's trying to make a point, at least twice during every video, he interrupts her and she never gets to finish the point, which kind of annoyed me a little bit because I really wanted to hear her finish that point. Whether I agreed with it or not, I wanted to hear, you know, all of it. And most of the time I didn't get to. But also there's something about them that just gave me the ick. You know how you can't quite put your finger on it? But you're just like, Ugh, something's weird about these people. This is the thing. I could tell there was something beneath the surface that just wasn't sitting right with me. And watching this interview of them talking about the data analysis for their kids and their kids' embryos. Uh, yeah, that's straight up YT supremacist eugenics crap. I didn't quite make the connection between the name of their kid. Um, but I'm not like a fantasy, like, like fiction genre type person, but Ebony is. So um, him making that connection is, is, you know, predictable. But I want you all to be on the lookout for these types of folks that they're, they're very educated. They don't, they're not quiverful types. They're not uh, entirely aligned with GOP, although they speak in conservative spaces and they're their language does have a lot of red pill vocabulary. Like they use terms like high value man. And one of their, one of their uh, pieces of advice for success in the dating market to increase your value with a partner is to act more grateful to be in a relationship with that person because gratitude is valuable to that person. Whether you feel it or not, just act like you're grateful. Like, oh, I'm so lucky to have you. you get, like just, yeah. That also gave me the ick. Like, if you are grateful, say it, fine. But if you're, like, don't fake something, some shit that's not there. Like, just the idea that they pinpointed that as, like, this is a data point where we've determined that your value increases to this person if you basically, you know, kiss their ass, whether it's warranted or not. You know, just weird, right? Weird shit. But I want you all to be aware of these people because as the birth rate continues to plummet, which it will, I think various governments are going to be more inclined to listen to people like this because they're going to get desperate because most of the policy situations, the policy solutions rather, that people have tried to implement are not really working. So as governments and uh, rich business people like Elon Musk get more desperate, they're going to be more and more inclined to entertain eugenicist, YT supremacy type policy ideas, which are precisely the kinds of ideas that these people are peddling. So just, you know, beware.